foodie friends, it's Sophie here, and I'm excited today because it's finally fall. Pumpkin spice, all day, every day, to celebrate fall. What we're gonna do today, a vegan stuffed butternut squash recipe. First step, wash and prepare our butternut squash. Butternut squash can be a little tricky to work with. It is a very hard squash. <laughs> Use your hand to kind of hit the knife down and remove it. I'm gonna cut the top off here, stand it back up straight, and using this line that I've already created on the one side, I'm gonna follow that with my knife to the other side. And there you go, butternut squash. You have to remove the seeds and the pulp. This can get a little messy. Use the spoon to kind of scoop out the flesh and the seeds. Follow Sophie Foodie for part two. There's still a little bit of the uh, pulp left, but that's okay, we'll leave it there. I think my favorite season is fall. I really love, everything gets a little chillier, a little snugglier, cinnamon on everything. So while this is a savory dish, I still wanna kind of incorporate those fall flavors. This pumpkin spice seasoning, a little bit of brown sugar on the top. So to get all of that squash really tender, par roast them before we stuff them with our actual filling. Generously coat these in oil. If you don't have the pumpkin spice blend, you can just use a combination of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice to kind of give it a little razzle dazzle. The sugar that I'm adding here will start to bring out the natural sugars that are in the butternut squash. Flip them over, more oil in the oven for about 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Follow Sophie Foodie for part three. Now I did say that this is a vegan recipe. I'm using chicken stock today. However, use water or veggie stock. God. For quinoa, a good two to one ratio is perfect. Throw in a cinnamon stick as well. Super annoying. Can't find anything in my spice cabinet. We are looking and we found it. So to punch up the flavor, adding a cinnamon stick, and one bay leaf. A pinch of salt. What is a pinch of salt? Three fingers and your thumb. That much. Once it reaches a boil, reduce it down to a simmer and cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Ooh, you know what? I forgot. We're gonna add, what are these? Chilean flame raisins. I'm gonna add these to the quinoa. We'll rehydrate these and it will be like a nice little juicy burst of fruit. Ooh, these are good. Oh, those are really good. Chilean flame raisin. Never heard of them. If you can find them, they are very sweet. Follow Sophie Foodie for part four. We got a bell pepper. Cut off the top, cut off the bottom. Make a slight incision, not all the way through the core, just on the outside of the flesh. Turn it on its side, insert your knife, and we're gonna rotate around the center core here, removing the seeds along with it. There you go. Cut around the core here, turn it on its back have the inside facing you helps the knife go through a little bit easier see if i turn it on this side you can see it's a little bit more waxy the knife has a little bit more difficulty going through not too much because it's a sharp knife saute pan oil bell pepper is going to sweat a can of garbanzo beans garbanzo beans are packed full of protein. Perfect for someone who's vegetarian or vegan. Garlic is now gonna go into my pan with my bell pepper. Follow Sophie Foodie for part five. Kale leaves always have this really strong fibrous rib. An easy way to remove it is to take your knife and run it down the sides of the rib and just cut through it like that. Rough chop. Quinoa is done. Quinoa is such a delicate grain. As soon as it pops open, you'll see like a small little string coming off of the kernel. So we're just gonna take my fork here and fluff it up. The raisins that have rehydrated in that fragrant stock. Add that here to my garbanzos. I always miss my mouth. If I'm on camera, I'm gonna miss my mouth. But when I'm not on camera, perfect landing every time. That could be taken a completely wrong direction. Take back what I just said. I'm gonna cut that part. Hey Siri, how much longer on the timer? The timer has about to be to go. How much longer on the timer? The timer has about nine minutes left. Nine minutes. Follow Sophie Foodie for part six. Our kale and our bell peppers. Smells great too. <laughs> 
Honestly, you could probably just eat this as is right now. Like this could be a side at like Thanksgiving. Toasted pine nuts and slivered almond. You could use pecans, you could even use pumpkin seed. Really the only reason why I'm adding a nut or a seed is for crunch. Cooking at home, always think about what the final product is gonna be. Think about the textures, think about the colors, overall flavor of the dish. All those components are really well balanced and harmonious. You're gonna have a fantastic dish. <laughs> This is Beanie. He is the love of my life outside of my husband. His love of his life is food, which is what he is eyeballing right now. You want some food? <laughs> can, you, can I put you down? Can I? Sir? 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 He's also a heart cat. Or maybe he was a circus dog in a past life. I don't know. Follow Sophie Foodie for part seven. Oh, yeah! This is hot. Oh yeah. You see how the skin on the outside has start to blister? That's how you know it's ready. Do not grab at these with your hands because they are spicy hot. Oh, it just smells so good. Our beautiful butternut squash. We're gonna fill it now with this beautiful quinoa salad. We're just gonna scoop it out like that. We're basically just gonna smother these. Looking at this dish, I'm like, it needs something creamy. That would be goat cheese. Final step, just a little bit more oil on the top. So this is gonna go back in the oven another 15 to 20 minutes. Look how good this looks. A little bit of fresh parsley. Looks so good. <laughs> oh, man. Let me tell you something. This just put me in the spirit of fall. Crazy good. That subtle sweetness that you get from that brown sugar and the, the pumpkin spice. I love those juicy little pops of this raisin. But this is a really hearty, filling, protein-packed, vegetarian dish that is perfect for the fall season. Mmm. <laughs>